Welcome to Bahamas Educational Express lesson video, religious lesson, celebrating Thanksgiving. Learners will be able to retell the story of the first Thanksgiving, state the reason why the pilgrims left England, list the people who helped the pilgrims. Vocabulary, Samoset, Squanto, Pilgrims, Plymouth, Massachusetts, and Religious Freedom. Thanksgiving, or Harvest Thanksgiving, is a celebration of thanks to God for his provisions and protection. The celebration of Thanksgiving has lost most of its religious significance. It originated in United States of America and is also celebrated hugely in Canada. In the Bahamas, Thanksgiving is celebrated in November. It is a time when churches, schools, and other businesses gather crops and food items and present them in churches at a special service of thanks to God. The items gathered are later distributed to the poor and needy in the community. What are we thankful for in the Bahamas? In the Bahamas, we are thankful for the ability for women to vote. We are thankful for independence. We are thankful for majority rule. We are thankful for protection of hurricane for most of the time. We are thankful for food and for shelter. Here are some field crops that were presented in the early days in the Bahamas. We have the cassava, the eddy, the peas, the sweet potato, the pumpkin, the beets, corn, and the sugar cane. Long ago, in the early 1600s, a group of people in England wanted to pray and worship God in their own way. The king controlled the Church of England and everyone was ordered to go to the same type of church. Anyone who dared to disobey would be sent to jail. The group of people who wanted to free, be free from the Church of England, from the king's rules, were known as Puritans. 100 men and women and children left their homeland with the dreams of religious freedom. They sailed on a ship, the Mayflower, on a pilgrimage to the New World. These brave travelers, the pilgrims, landed in Plymouth after their long six-week journey. It was December 11, 1620, when they arrived in the New World. When they got here there, the cold winter had set in. The land was strange to them and nothing seems familiar. The first year in their new home, was hard for the pilgrims. The winter was long, cold, and very hard for them. Many died. Luckily, Native Americans helped by supplying them with seeds and food, teaching them about their new home, and giving them the skills needed to survive in a strange 
new land. With seeds and plants received from the Native Americans, the pilgrims planted crops. The fall harvest was a good one. To celebrate their good harvest and for the help of the Indians in teaching them to grow their crops, the pilgrims had a feast of thanksgiving. Many food were cooked for the feast. Wild turkey, duck, and versions were probably served along with fish and pumpkins and squash, corn and sweet potatoes and cranberries. Captain Miles Standish, the leader of the pilgrims, invited all of the Native Americans who had helped them so much during their first year. There were about 140 persons in total. Food served at the first Thanksgiving, berries and corn and fish and spinach, peas and turkey, the deer and was the cornbread. They played games. Singing and dancing were also part of the celebration. Everyone had a good day of Thanksgiving. The feast lasted for three days. This harvest feast in, in 1621 is often called the first Thanksgiving. Over the years, the day we celebrate as Thanksgiving became an important tradition in the United States of America. A day of giving thanks for all that we have. In 1941, President Franklin Roosevelt made Thanksgiving a national holiday. Thanksgiving is celebrated the fourth Thursday in November each year. It is a time for counting the many blessings we have received during the year and for spending time with family and friends.